Hi everybody. I just wanted to let you know that I was able to interface this very old, uh, well I guess we call it a 5 pin DIN connector to the 6 pin mini connector which came from Amazon. Uh, this is a cheap Chinese knockoff and I don't know if you can get this to focus in here. Gosh darn it, these things don't like to focus. But it, it, if you can see that, it's, um, it's, it labels P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and P6. It's a little bit out of focus. There it comes. Well, those pins are exactly backwards. I don't know if you want to see this, but uh, here it is. Um, pin 1 goes to pin 2, pin 2 goes to pin 1, pin 3 goes to pin 4, pin 4 goes to pin 3, pin 5 goes to pin 6, and pin 6, which is not connected, actually is pin 5. And, um, and it's unfortunate that they did it this way. I color-coded it. It means that ground and VCC are backwards because they use the pinout for the male connector, not the female connector. And you can see here, I don't know if you want to take a snapshot of that one, but uh, this is how they've laid it out. This is when you buy the Chinese knockoff from uh, Amazon. So then I proceeded to um, wire um, to pins uh, uh, 2 and 3 on the... Um, uh, I'm sorry, I think it's three and four on the Arduino. And of course, we've got the power and ground uh, uh, colored as red and green, respectively. And um, after you do that, you can kind of see typing on the PS2 keyboard actually works. And what we're doing over here is we're taking the uh, canonical example um, and we're using the data pin 4 and data and, and interrupt request pin 3. And uh, actually using uh, 3 for an interrupt request, I'm told, is relatively important, although I haven't attested it. And uh, we're running this at uh, 9600 baud and including the PS2 keyboard.h. So that all seems to work reasonably well now. Um, but, of course, everything was wired backwards, so it set us back a little bit of time. But things are working now. Thought you might like to see that. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you later. Bye.